Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how I make my sauteed asparagus. In my recipe, I add a lot of minced garlic and teriyaki sauce to mine. Just remember, if you don't want to add that much, you don't have to. And even if you don't want to add it at all, that's fine. Just make it your own. Sometimes I even add a splash of lemon juice or a balsamic vinegar to mine. But this is the way my family likes it and I hope you enjoy. For our sauteed asparagus, I'm using two bunches, and you can, you know, cut this in half. But I don't like to pick ones that's real thick or ones that's real thin. But what we're going to do is take the rubber band off. And on the asparagus, what I like to do, because the ends of them are real tough, and if you ever try to eat these, it's like chewing on a stick or something. But I like to cut the ends off. Then just put them in your colander and wash them real good. And then I'll meet you at the stove to saute them up. To uh, cook our asparagus, I've washed and rinsed it very good, drained it real good, patted it dry. So in a large skillet over medium high heat, I've added two tablespoons of oil. And then I'm going to add one fourth teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Let that start to sizzle. Now carefully add your asparagus in. Add in some black pepper. I'm not going to add any salt to mine because I'm going to be adding teriyaki sauce and that has a lot of sodium in it. That's up to you if you want to add any more or not. After it's sauteed for around four minutes, I'm going to add my minced garlic. And I've added two teaspoons. If you don't want to add that much garlic, then just cut the amount down. Then I'm going to add three tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. If you don't want to add that much, that's fine. If you don't want to add the teriyaki sauce at all, and maybe add some lemon juice, or even add it with the teriyaki sauce, that's good too. If you want to blanch your asparagus before you fry it, then put it in a pot of boiling water, blanch it for just a couple of minutes, and then drain it. And that will help speed up the cooking time. I've sauteed mine to around nine minutes, and that's Really up to you, your desired doneness. It's still kind of crispy. That's how we like it. But just uh, remove it, put it in your serving plate, and serve. And all that garlic that we put in, a lot of it's still going to stay in the pan. That was just to flavor it up real good. But if you don't want to add that much teriyaki, that's up to you. And if you don't want to add that much garlic, and if you want to add lemon to this, that's good. And sometimes I've even added some balsamic vinegar to it. And this is what it looks like when it's done. I would serve it immediately. 
I hope you enjoy.